Hey YouTube, so today, today I'll be showing you three tips or tricks that you can do on your iOS 5 device. It doesn't matter which device, but this will work on any device. So suppose you want to add a emotion keyboard. So in iOS 4, you could download a app in the App Store and that could create a emotion keyboard. But now you don't even need an app. In iOS 5, there's already a keyboard built in. You'll just have to add it. So first you're going to have to go to settings. And after you're in settings, you are going to have to go to general. And after in general, you are going to have to scroll down and click tap keyboard. And after you type keyboard, you are going to have to go to international keyboards. And you are going to have to add a new keyboard. And you are going to have to find emoji so it's already usually right over in this area but since I already have it this is how it's supposed to look like emoji this is how it's spelled so once you add it you can go to an app such as notepad and you can test it out so you can make a new note and to test it you can tap the globe which means you can change languages you can hold it and select emoji or you can just keep on switching languages until you get to it and once you get to it this is how it should look like and then you can tap smiley face and then you can add smiley face yay you can add a flower like this yeah. or you can add any other stuff and you can scroll to this because there's a ton of stuff and this is the same as that emoji app so this is a really useful tip on how to get emoji on your keyboard so another cool keyboard tip is adding keyboard shortcuts so you can enable keyboard shortcuts by going to the same spot and instead of clicking keyboard you just have to scroll all the way down it's next to international keyboards and by default there's a shortcut on omw on my way already enabled so when you type in omw it'll pop up on my way so to add a shortcut you just have to tap add new shortcut and the phrase could be like your mom <laughs> the shortcut will be ym so let's use that for as example so now let's go to notes let's get rid of this one now we have to add a new note so let's type in ym and it'll pop up a suggestion your mom <laughs> So then you just click space and voila, it will add that selected word as which, as what you want it. So this is keyboard shortcuts are really useful. Another tip is how you can another tip is you can use any device as a text to speech dictation device. So to set this up, you are going to have to go to settings and you are going to have to go to yeah you're gonna have to go to general and then you're going to have to go to accessibility which is right over there so once you tap it you are going to have to go to speak selection and make sure you can turn that on and here you turn it on and you can adjust the speaking right so she speaks slow or fast and it's the same voice as by default the English lady on Siri and voice control lady no, this is all the same same voice so you can go to a program such as notes and you can select the text so I can select all now let me put my volume up and and once you do that you will just have to tap speak and make sure you can hear this your mom if you heard that it said your mom so this is a really good useful way on how to make your device a text-to-speech dictation device so this will work with any device it is running iOS 5